You remember when we spoke about uh, Igor, mm. Tyler's last uh, studio album? Mm. It's probably going to be up there with album of the year. Not even just rap album of the year, but probably going to be up there with album of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really an exploration. I told you, I think that episode, it, it's a more of a story. Mm-hmm. When you listen to the album... It sounds all random, but when you listen to the words, it's a story. Mm. It's it's a three part story. It's a beginning, middle, and an end to a narrative. He falls in love with the person. The love starts breaking off. The end of the relationship, mm. but it's cynical. He's talking about killing himself, his lover, and the person that his lover left him for. He's talking about. I need to, yeah, no, like. But what's um, what's your? Um, I think this um somewhat. I think okay, because he was professing his love to a guy in this album. Mm-hmm. But Tyler's been hinting for years that he may be bi or homosexual. Mm. Around the same time, Frank Ocean did. Oh. And I'm thinking, what if he's kind of meant, and Frank Ocean also talked about some mysterious guy that he fell in love with. Damn, what? So, and then what what inevitably happened? Frank Ocean ended up having a daughter. Mm -hmm. So, what if in this album, (laughs) what if in this album they (laughs) fell in love in that summer that Frank was talking about? Mm Mm-hmm. And then he he found a girl, got had a daughter, and then they had to split up. And now Tyler and Frank, yeah, they started off at our future together. But damn, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. I mean, maybe I don't. I don't know enough about either one of them, but I can see the timeline making (laughs) sense. (laughs) That is an interesting. I was holding that in the tuck. I wouldn't. I was listening that, to that album again. <laughs> hey, possibly. What you mean? He was listening to that. Damn, I think he's singing about Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yo, gotta low key. About Frank, yo. Low key. Yeah, I was like, hold no up, it's way nigga. too coincidental that these two super straight dudes Damn. just kind of fell in love in one summer, and then they had to break up after Frank had a daughter. And now Tyler's had some time to process it, and he doesn't feel weird saying that he's gay. So he's just been kind of internalizing this lost love that he had five to six to seven years ago. I always thought he was just playing around with this shit. I thought so, too. But, like, this album is like, no, Tyler's like, no, Tyler's gay. Like, and that's just something I got to. And then I thought, like, maybe he's writing this from the narrative of a gay person because he has been kind of trolling the Internet with his talk of being bi or homosexual throughout his album. He was always talking about faggots, but thou who doubts protest too much. <laughs> I, I like it. I yeah. think that's interesting. Timeline makes sense. A tornado yeah. flew around his room. <laughs> A tornado flew around my room. It finally... Ooh. Hey. Ooh, child, that's crazy. Love is love. Do y'all think, man? Do y'all I think thing? that's what kind of happened, though. And they've both had major success and no bad blood. But if you listen to this Igor album, it's he's literally changing from Dr. Frankenstein. That's why he named it Igor, Mm -hmm. because he had love. He was so ecstatic with love at the beginning. And then he there was this woman who was kind of coming in, breaking him and the love is his life up. And then at the end, he was like, I got to kill her. I got to I got to do something. But towards the end of the album, he was like, I just got to let it go. I can't do that. I can't do that. But, like, it was the transformation from Dr. Frankenstein having good will and Igor. Igor was Dr. Frankenstein's evil little minion. Mm. And you hear the the transformation throughout the album. You hear him mm. go from – there's three parts to the album. You hear the beginning, bright eyes, bright eyes. You hear the middle, turmoil. You hear the ending. Like, and that 
I like it. Well, you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Ocean. You heard, heard it to, here first. To make Frank I Ocean think. and uh, Tyler the Creator were a thing. I, no, I'm not saying that. I, but <laughs> it was just a, it was yeah, just a hot feel, take. Yeah, it was just a hot take. But I do wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe that was probably rap album of the year, hip hop album of the year. Wholeheartedly. Right. Mm. Exactly. Not to take away from the artistry, yeah. the project. Um, 